What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment here, back today with another episode of MLB The Show 16. This is my Chicago White Sox franchise, and today it's time to go ahead and see if we can complete the sweep of the Texas Rangers. Looking for a good one, man. We got Chris Sale taking the mound. Should be a pretty easy one for us. Afternoon baseball set to come your way on a fine afternoon on the south side of Chicago. Today we wrap up the homestand with the third of three between the Texas Rangers and the Chicago White Sox. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Chris Sale is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Southsiders. EK, what do you got? Well, Matty, you take a look at that whip, less than one. What that means, he's allowing less than one base runner per inning. Outstanding. You mean Chris Sale is a dominant pitcher out here in the American League. Leadoff guy in an 0-2 count here early on, and that's going to be a grounder out there to Brett Lurie. And that's one gone to start out the day. Great job from Sale. Next batter out to bat is Odor, 0-1 count here after the first ground out. Odor's going to send one deep out there to Adam Eaton. That ball is still carrying, but he only has warning track power on that one, and that's going to be two outs on the day. Adrian Beltre at the bat here, 1-2 count here, sailing for a strikeout. He gone! And he's going to get it right there with that slider. Caught him looking, Beltre couldn't see it coming. Let's get it. Let's try to get something going for sale. Colby Lewis. The California-born right-hander is on the mound. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, he's having a very nice season so far. You look at that ERA in the low twos. Looking to continue that trend here in this one. Well, we hope he doesn't continue it here. But uh, we got Adam Eaton up to bat here early with a 1-0 count. Fake bunt. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch. Stretch. Get on back there. They look up. You can put it on the board. Yes. Yes! And Adam Eaton's going to touch them all, everybody. He's going to start off this ball game with a nice solo shot out there to right field. Well, I guess right center field, excuse me. But uh, let's go. Going to get Sale a nice early one nothing lead. And that's number four for Adam Eaton on the year. 417 feet. That would have made it out of anywhere in this ballpark. Not sure what's gotten into our bats against these Texas Rangers. But we are torching them, and that's probably like our 10th home run of the dang series. Let's go. Jimmy Rollins at the bat. He's in a 3-1 count here. He gets a hanger. Jimmy Rollins sends one deep to left field, but his is going to have some warning track power, and it's not going to be able to get anywhere. Is this going to be our first out of the ball game? And here's a look at our lineup. You can see Jose Abreu back in the lineup. We're going to rest Austin Jackson for the day. As we got J.B. Shuck playing center. Laura is going to be back in the lineup, and so is Cabrera. Here goes Jose Abreu up to bat. And he's going to line one over there in the left field. Let's go. Jose Abreu is on base for his first hit of the ball game. Let's, let's get something going here with one out. Check this out on show track. It's not a bad first pitch. It's down. It's on the outside part of the plate. Hey, if you can get guys to swing at that, you're going to have a lot of success. Just didn't work out here. Todd uh, Frazier, everybody, let's go. 1-0 count. They hang one. He sends one to deep right field. That ball is still carrying back there, but his is going to die out there just near the warning track. And it was almost a two-run home run for Frazier. He tried to give us early 3 nothing lead. Obviously, Garcia up to bat here. And he's going to take the first pitch right here and drive it right back up the middle for a base hit. So a man on first and second. Looks like we got some life here with two outs. Y'all know how we do with two outs. We tend to get stuff going. J.B. Shuck is filling in for Austin Jackson. He's going to kind of, I don't know, no, nah, it wasn't a pop-up, but it's going to be a fly out out there to right field. The but the White Sox hit the board first on the solo home run. Second inning coming up, and it's quickly 1-0 Chicago. Marcel Lev's having his early one at the lead. Mitch Moreland up the bat here in a 1-2 count. He gone! And a nasty slider getting him reaching out of the zone. He's one of those guys that you can spend all your time in the video room watching what his pitches look like, but until you get out there and see it firsthand, you just have no idea how much his stuff moves around. All right, Josh Hamilton up the bat right here. 0-1 count, two outs. 
And he's going to send one deep out there to center field. J.B. Shirk ranging back. And another ball out there on the warning track. Not too happy to see himself giving up a lot of fly balls here early on. Got to change that around. Got Brett Laurie up the bat here. 1-1 one, one count. He's done turned it around this in these last few ball games, he gets a base hit. That ball's going to get all the way to the wall. And Lori's going to cruise in with a double. And we're in business here in the second. Let's get it. Adam Eaton is back up to bat here. 1 0 count after his solo shot. And he's going to add extras. And that's going to be a. That's going to play it on a run if Lori can get there in time. Yes, he will. Brett Lori's going to score. Adam Eaton's going to move up to second. And we're going to take a nice 2 0 lead. Couldn't get nothing going on. Third in here for sale. And J.B. Shuck is out there trying to get to the gap. And Shuck is just going to get there in time as he closes down on it. 0-1 count here. Two outs. Sale is looking pretty good out here. Got a nice 2 nothing lead. Grounder to Lori. Lori coming on. And he's just going to get him by a step or two. As a birdie with a nice stretch. Tyler Frazier at the bat. 2-1 count here. One out here in the third. Hey, what can I say? Tom Frazier just loves hitting home runs off the Texas Rangers. He has, what's that? I believe that's even number three he has in this series. He's a 304 as he is just extending his lead <laughs> on the ball club with home runs. That's number eight on the year. And this one goes 396 feet, a no doubt home run, too. Let's get it, man. We cooking on these guys. JB Shuck up to bat here, two outs. And then Shuck's going to wind up in in this inning as well. So he kind of, yeah, that's pretty much a pop-up over there to shortstop. But, hey, Frazier touches them all with a nice solo shot, extending the lead. Sale back out here on the mound. And Sale's going to give up his first hit of the day. And it's going to be a single right back up the middle. So the Rangers might have some life. And Odor's going to get a base hit right here. Adam Eaton's going to gun it in before the uh, guy going to second can get anywhere else. But we got to do something. 2-1 count here. One out. Mitch Boylan up the bat. That's going to... Ground ball is going to get through. Adam Eaton on the run. They got a guy going home. And Adam Eaton's going to gun him down. Adam Eaton throwing him out. Let's go. He's trying to do what he can to get his guy to step closer to tying this thing. But that time, he was a little too optimistic. They tag him out easily at home plate. Had him eating, saving a great run. Pittsfield up to bat here. And Melchior Cabrera is going to be there in time. And that's going to get us out. No, it is not. And you got to be kidding me. Melchior Cabrera, another error on the year. And they're going to wind up scoring two. Cut this lead down three to two. Wow. And it doesn't make sense because Melchior is a real great defender in real life. Not sure how he has so many errors. He's, he's got to be leading the team in errors. And Josh Hamilton belts one out there. Adam Eaton chasing, and Adam Eaton is going to be there. So another warning track play for Josh Hamilton balls. Come on, you guys. We didn't get nothing going in the bottom of the fourth. 0-2 count for sale. And, and another strikeout with that beautiful slider sale has. You can't touch it. 1-2 count here. Sale has another guy in the hole. One out. This time he blows the fastball right by him. He couldn't keep up with it. Sales, keep showing your dominance. Now he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. <laughs> That's embarrassing for that last guy who just struck out. The ball pretty much was in the glove. And Sales going to wind up getting out of this inning. Adam Eaton is there on the run. Let's get it, y'all. We got to get some support for sale after, the, after those bad errors last inning. Jose Abreu up to bat here with two outs. And Abreu's going to get a single right back up the middle for us. Let's go. Let's get some two-out magic going for us as we look to get sale some more support, man. He needs it. And you can see Jose Abreu leads the team in hits. Adam Eaton right behind him. 
And all of a sudden, you're going to see in third with 28. So it's kind of a big drop off between like first, second, and third to uh, like the fourth and fifth guys. At the trouble inning, Sale's going to wind up getting out of a jam. He had two walks. In a, actually, no, it was a walk and, a, and two singles. But we're luckily going to get out of this inning without giving up any runs. Sail back out here on the mound, top of the seventh, one one count. Grounder to Jimmy Rollins. Rollins fires it over there to Jose Bray, almost overthrew him. And that's going to be getting us out of this inning. Jimmy Rollins up the bat after a single from Navarro. One one count here with two outs. Just looking to get something going. And Jimmy Rollins crushed one. But, oh man, it just goes foul. And excuse me, that's not Navarro on first break. That's actually Adam Eaton. One two count here, two out. Jimmy Rollins looking to get something at the miss home run. That ball is hit to center field. Center field is not going to be able to get there in time. We're easily going to score with Adam Eaton. And that's an RBI double for Jimmy Rollins, extending this lead four to two. Let's get it. Jose Abreu up to bat a ball right down the middle. The left field, excuse me, the right field is going to wind up missing. And Jose Abreu is going to get in with an RBI double. So back-to-back -back RBI doubles. Let's go. Todd Frazier up to bat here. Two outs. Or one count. He drives one into that gap. Deja vu again. And it's going to look like an RBI double for Todd Frazier. And that's three doubles in a row. Two of them leading into the RBIs. Let's get it, y'all. 6-2 lead here. Actually, I know Garcia's going to want to strike it. Actually, all three of those doubles led to RBIs. I was wrong on that. But a bad play right there. Garcia, 0-2 count right here. Two outs. And this ball is hit deep. J.B. Shuck trying to get there, and he is not. And Adrian Beltre is going to get a ground rule double right there. Nah, man, that's not good. Sale's still out here. One-two count. He gone! Mitch Moreland, bye-bye, man. Bye-bye. <laughs> Another strikeout for Sale, and he's got Mitch Moreland's number. Brett Laurie up to bat, and I believe that's Navarro on first base this time. 0-1 count for Laurie. One out. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch. Stretch. Get on back there. They look up. You can put it on the board. Yes. Yes! Let's get it, Laurier's finally, and I mean finally, hit a home run. Let's get it. We're waiting on Officer Garcia and Navarro to finally get one of theirs. It's just crazy because I'm pretty sure Laurier has some pretty solid power too. So I'm not sure why it's taking him so long to get one, but they will take it as he hit the 361 feet out there to right field. Just pushed it up out of here, showing a lot of strength on that one. And we're just going to keep extending this lead and making sure Chris Sam gets a well-deserved victory as they change their pitcher out. Nate Jones will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. All right, we got Nate Jones for us here in the top of the ninth facing Prince Fielder. And, man, I do not like this shift. I'm not even sure why. It's, not, it's really not much of a need to shift on Fielder really anymore. He's not as dominant as he used to be, especially when he was with the Brewers. It's going to cost us a double. He gone! How <laughs> about Mitch Moreland getting struck out again? Let's go. Ground over there to Frazier. Frazier's going to get it, and he's going to fire it over there to Jose Abreu. Let's get it. We're one out away from completing this series sweep. 0-1 count right here. Liner to Adam Eaton, and this ball game is over. Let's go. Another series sweep. Of the American League West, they cannot handle these hot Chicago White Sox. And here's the final look at our line score: an 8-2 victory. That's a pretty solid win, if you ask me. You can see, we got 13 hits to their seven. A great game from Chris Sale. And hey, man, we are hot as ever. Let's get it. We're gonna be heading to Toronto next. I will see you guys there, and you can see Brett Lorry getting the player of the game. Yeah. He might have deserved I don't know, really. I mean, without that air, Sam has a shutout. But oh, hey, man, we'll take it. Another great team victory for us. I want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos I've been posting of this series and more. Also, check out my Road to the Show series. 
I'm trying to start posting that a little more. The link will be in the description. And I'm out the next time, everybody. Peace.